Hello, I'm Sean Jones. This week we are at the launch of Networks, a new co-working space in Islington, bringing you your week in tech. Peer-to-peer -peer lender Assets Capital has raised more than £3 million from equity fundraising site Cedars. 731 investors contributed to Cedars second largest campaign in a deal which underlines the growing strength of the alternative finance sector. Assets Capital provides non-bank loans to SMEs and property developers in the UK and it's run by professional bankers. And the cost of commuting may be going up, but help is at hand. Alternative credit startup Commuter Club has raised more than $1 million over the past six months. It's building a low cost loan business which helps people pay for annual travel passes in London. So if you're unable to pay upfront or get a loan from your employer, Commuter Club have the solution. The Southwark based startup has already lent £1 million for around 500 annual travel cards. More news now from the world of crowdfunding as Finnish startup Investor wins the first EU-wide licence for offering debt and equity crowdfunding services. Now the licence enables the company to help startups looking for investment without having to apply for a new local operating licence every time it opens up in a new country. Investor was the first to apply for the licence following an invitation by the European Commission to support the alternative finance market. And it aims to become the largest startup funding platform across Europe, having already raised 4.4 million euros of equity-based funding. Now, with only two weeks to go until the general election, if you're still unsure how to vote, we've teamed up with Vote for Policies to find out exactly what the tech industry think. You can take the survey at voteforpolicies.org forward slash survey forward slash techcitynews. Our download of the week is AnyVan. Now, you wouldn't necessarily expect to find an app for the removals industry, but AnyVan really is leading the way. It matches people that need items moved with transporters making similar journeys. So next time you need a removal van, you can compare prices and get the best deal right from your smartphone. And finally, this week, Ed Miliband's campaign took off, and that was largely thanks to a teenage girl called Abby. Fed up of the negative media coverage, she tweeted her support for the Labour leader. Abby's followers increased to 12,000, and hashtag Millie Fandom hit the top trends on Twitter. This has been your week in tech. Thank you so much for watching. And for more, do check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.